Guys, we are back in the video here, and I made a best goalie build video early on in the year. And I know a lot of people still play ESHL or World of Chell, so this video is going to be the best sniper build that you can have in World of Chell. The abilities that you want active, all of the specific stats that you're going to want to know in this video, all right? So if you guys haven't read it, though, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And if you want more World of Chell content, let me know, all right? So let's hop into it right now so i got a bunch of different builds uh but one that i use a lot when i play winger uh mainly it's going to be my sniper build all right so here is my sniper build so basically guys this one works the best because of just how much you can really act, like snipe sniping is not that easy in this game right so looking at this sniper build here 5'7", 160, obviously it doesn't matter if you shoot lefty or righty, that's all preference, whatever wing you're playing on, that's all that matters. The ability that you're going to want on is Heat Seeker, alright? Heat Seeker is so, so broken, uh, especially uh, against human goalies, but it really works very well against AI goalies as well. Uh, pretty much all you really want to do is just shoot from pretty much anywhere. Just take wrist shots from anywhere. The shots are incredibly, incredibly powerful. Uh, too powerful, to say the least. Uh, shots that just really shouldn't go in. Um, but they, they do find a way. They really just find a way. You can pretty much shoot from anywhere. I'll have some clips as well uh, throughout the video. But, like, it, it is... Uh, it, it's a broken, broken ability. It really is. Uh, that, to go along with close quarters, is another broken ability as well. You're in front of the net. Just get a quick wrist shot off. Close quarters is so, so good. And uh, I really do believe that close quarters is one you guys should definitely have on as well. Because you're going to be around the net. Uh, Elite Edges is nice as well. Helps your skating out. Although your skating is already going to be really exceptional. Uh, but I, I think it's still very nice to have Elite Edges on as well. Uh, you could definitely go with different ones here. But I feel like that's, the most, that's probably the best one. Magnetic's not bad either. But uh, what I run... Is, uh, is definitely elite edges, all right? Uh, my boots I have on are the plus four to the control passing and the plus four to pass timing as well. So my passing gets also very good for a sniper. It's really good as well. So that's really nice as well. But my technique, uh, I, I go this way, all right? So I leave wrist shot accuracy at, you know, blank, slash shot accuracy at blank. Also speed up to a plus five. Balance is a minus five. Agility is a minus three, all right? So we got the 88 wrist shot accuracy, 86 slap shot accuracy, 93 speed, uh, 64 balance, 86 agility though. But the, of course, Elite Edges does help all of this, all right? Then the power on the shot, all right? So you get a plus one for the wrist shot power, so up to an 89 slap shot power, plus three up to a 91. Acceleration is a plus two up to 90. Uh, puck control is a minus two. Endurance is a minus five as well. So that gets to an 81. So this is 89, 91, 90, 83, and uh, 81 here when it comes to the power, all right? Uh, so then you have the play style, which I, I put passing all the way up to plus five, plus five offensive awareness as well. So we have to 89 to 94 as well. Buy checking is a minus two, minus two for stick checking and a minus four for the defensive awareness. All right. So I have that at 89, 94, 67, 70, and 67. All right. So those are the stats that I got currently uh, on this. All right. Then we have the tenacity. We put hand eye at plus three. Our shots an 87. Strength is a plus two, 72. Minus five, 64. Minus five, 70. All right. So that's what I have for the tenacity. And the tactics, I have plus five deking for 84. Face offs all the way down because this is a winger build, strictly a winger build. If you're playing center, obviously you have to put the face offs up, but this is a winger build, sniper build. All right. So. Uh, then we see discipline is a minus three as well, bring it to 78. Fighting skill, obviously, unless you're a goon, there's really no reason to ever uh, not have that at minus five. So always at minus five. So we have the Deacon at 84, 80, 78, and 64. Those are the stats that I got rocking on this build. This build is very, very good. I've scored so many goals with this build, and I and I just gotta tell you guys it's ridiculous, right? So uh, on to some highlights here of this build. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Uh, but this is a very broken build. You can just really score from like very ridiculous areas. I mean, especially if you can catch the goalie uh, sitting too deep in his net, you can easily snipe from long distance. So 
Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna end the video with some gameplay of me scoring goals in this build. And uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you want more ASHL uh, builds in the future, let me know what kind of build you want. Defense, center, uh, anything else, let me know. I will see you guys in the next video.